Okay, so next we're going to start drawing um, the final bit of pattern. So I would use, say, like a pen or something different to what you've been drawing with uh, to distinguish um, from the underlying grid. Uh, if you were to teach this pattern, one thing that you could do is give a piece of tracing paper uh, to go over this grid, and then what goes on the tracing paper is the pattern, what's underneath is the grid. So, um, or you can, I, I sometimes get people to draw with very hard lead this particular part that you've just done, and then to use a stronger lead or a pen for the final lead, just so there's that distinction. Right, so, the way I'm going to describe this is I think probably the easiest way to perceive what's going on. There's many different ways of perceiving what's going on in a pattern, and it's okay to take whichever avenue you're perceiving it by, but this one is probably the best way of looking at it, this particular one. We're going to be drawing four arrows, one pointing north, one pointing south, one pointing east, one pointing west. Now these arrowheads, if you go from, I'm going to do the one that's pointing up first, one that's pointing north, so I'm going to count one, two, three, so if this is the top of the arrowhead, this is where one of the edges is going to come down to. Don't draw it yet. And then count three in the other direction. One, two, three. This is, so these are the two bottoms of the arrowhead, and that's the top of it. But we're also going to leave a gap. Now when you draw the line, you're going across three cake slices. One, two, three. You don't draw in the middle cake slice. Now if you follow that, then you've pretty much got the whole pattern. So it requires a bit of, um, bit of <coughs> it requires a bit of concentration just to, to make sure you leave those gaps. But once you do more and more, it becomes easier and easier. So there is the one pointing north. Yes, on the circle, yeah. So all of what we're doing here is with the points on the circumference of the circle. Um, don't use that bisector cross that's just above uh, the circle. Now if this is the arrow pointing north, all we need is exactly the same, one pointing south, one pointing east, one pointing west. And following that same principle of leaving the gap in the middle cake slice. And as you start to do that, you'll notice the various arrowheads sort of joining together and joining up. Now the lines will cross over a bit. Once you come to the third arrowhead, uh, the lines do cross. So it feels a bit counterintuitive to cross over one, but it's okay because that's uh, how we get the star. And there's a complete start. So all that is, is those four arrowheads all interacting with each other gives you that start.